Hello, and welcome back to the Digital Photo Academy. This is Asif Raza. In the previous video, we had explored the creation of metadata templates and also adding additional keywords to our images as and when required. Now we are going to be looking at collections. So first question is, what are collections? Collections are basically literally a collection of images that you choose to be in a particular space in a collection without moving the images from their source. So to give you an idea, to be able to find collections, you go to your bridge window and in here, in the lower quadrant on the left hand side, you will see a little tab called collections. If you don't see it, all you really need to do is any one of the two things. You can go into window, go into workspace and simply say reset to save layout. And when you click on it, it will revert to its default behavior. So I did that. Now, the other way of doing it is you simply go here where it says essential and there's a flyout menu. Click on it and simply click on reset to save and it should bring back to the default look. I wish to choose certain images that I think are worth working on since I've just imported these images into my hard drive. Easiest way to do that is the following. First and foremost, I don't care about the JPEG files. I wish to look only and only at the raw files. So first I'm going to filter the raw files. So I click on the filter icon, the filter tab. And in here, there are two types of files, JPEG and camera raw images. So I check camera raw. So basically what it is doing is it's hiding the JPEG files. It hasn't removed them. It's simply not showing them at this point in time. And once having done that, there are two ways of adding images to a collection. So one of the better ways to start off is, let's say I wish to have this image, I wish to have this image, and I wish to have, let's say, this image, and perhaps uh, this image, and perhaps this image, and maybe something else if you so desire. So let's say I've got these images going. Once I have these selected, I go to my collections panel and in the collections panel, right towards the bottom, you'll see two icons, one with a plus symbol and the other with a gear symbol. So one of them that we are currently interested in is just the new collection with the plus symbol. So while these images are selected, okay, so I've got like two, three, four, five images, I click on the new collection icon. As soon as I click on it, it comes up with another window asking me to name the f collection. And it also, by default, comes up check, which says include selected files in the collection. Obviously, yes. So I'm going to call it test demo. And I hit OK. And suddenly, this appears in my collections panel test demo and it says there are five images but i wish to perhaps go back review and add a few more images so if i go back i come back to the space and once again i'm going to filter to just the raw files and i wish to add more images to my collections so let's say i want this as well so all i have to do is click on it and drag and drop on that particular folder. And now it says it has six images and it's six images, if you click in here, the show up. But for the sake of argument, I wish to add a few other images because they belong to the same project or whatever it may be from other sources. So I'll go into my folders and choose a particular folder and let's say, I want photos and I want landscapes and I wish to add a few more images into that collection. So all I really need to do is, let's say I want this, I want this, I want this and perhaps this and maybe this as well to the same collection. Now these reside in completely different spaces and I click drag them over onto that test demo folder. And now it says 11 and 
there are the images that I have chosen. So this is how you can create collections and you can create collections based on your needs. Particularly, let's say you've downloaded, been to an event or wherever you had been out shooting, landscapes or whatever it may be. And you come back and you create a sort of, you sort them out and now you wish to work on a certain series of images. So suddenly you can create a collection from that. Besides this, if let's say you have downloaded your images, you've done the work and you wish to create a specific repository or a selection of images that belong in a particular space and you wish to create what would be known as a smart collection. Now smart collections are very interesting and very useful. So let's say I wish to create or find images that have specific keywords associated with them. That's what smart collections are about. One of the key elements to creating smart collections is your images need to be indexed and they must have keywords or metadata associated with them. So if I decide, hey, I want to find out where those particular images are. So now this time I wish to create a smart collection. So I come and click on the new smart collection icon and I click on it. So I'm also going to call it a uh, test demo smart collection. So I've given it a name. Where do I want it to look? So you could have external drives or whatever that may be. So if I were to go into my browse, I can then go browsing throughout my uh, directories. So I come in here and I want to browse within this space. Okay. And I say choose. And when you come into browse, then I've chosen the location where I wish to search for. And the criteria can be multiple criteria. It's again a choice that you wish to make. Type of document or whatever it may be. Okay. Color profile, color mode, bit depth, descriptions or copyright notice. I kind of like the keywords because I'd worked on associating specific keywords. So I click on keyword and I say, hey, I want to look at beauty. Now, if you see just one, so let's say this is, uh, I apologize, um, this is how it was. So there's only one search parameter that I have, beauty. I want to add more. So I click on the plus symbol and then choose what criteria do I wish to look for. Um, I say keyword yet once again, contains or does not contain or starts with, see what works for you. So I say contains and I say, let's say landscape. Okay, so I've got these two criteria. And then in my search results, I say match, how do I want it to match? If any criteria are met or if all criteria are met. So for the time being, I'll just say if any criteria are met. So if, if there wasn't landscape and just beauty, it'll pick up that. Include all subfolders? Absolutely yes. Include non-indexed files? Maybe slow. Since I haven't indexed the files, some files, I don't really want to go there because I want to look at the indexed files. So once I have done this, I simply click on find. And here we go. It has suddenly found a bunch of these images in that particular space. And it has also, in an automated manner, created that new smart collection. And here are all the images that relate to that search criteria that I had defined that I want you to look for this particular criteria. The beauty of it is from here, despite the fact that these are not the original res images residing, these are just links because it hasn't moved the files, I can still take any image from here and add it to a regular collection. So if I said, okay, I want this particular image to become a part of my test demo. So I simply click on it and I drag and drop on it. And now we have 12 images and that has also been added here. Remember one thing, 
collections are not actual images they are simple references to the image wherever it may be residing and once you're done with whatever you are doing and you're done your work with that selection of images you can trash this collection and walk away you would not lose any images or delete anything you're simply removing these references to the source file wherever they may be residing now that we know what collections and smart collections are let's look at one more thing in this video which is the export module okay now if I click on the export you may not see a couple of these that I may have here in your bridge interface that doesn't mean anything because you may not have created any new export modules or custom export modules so the way to go about it is if you notice at the bottom right there's a plus symbol okay what I want to do is I want to create let's say I've got a selection of images which were raw files and I've done my work through the raw processor and now as opposed to trying to save each file at a given time I want to do the whole batch as one export as JPEG files for posting to my website or online to a social media or sharing with friends through email or whatever it may be okay so we're going to create a specific preset which is really an export module so I click on the plus symbol and here it comes so first things first we got to name it in a manner which you can recognize and recall exactly what it will be doing so I want to call it uh, let's say 1280 pixel web ready okay so I've done that where do I wish to save these files do I wish to save them in the original location not necessarily so I can say hey you can either go through the drop down menu to a specific folder and then browse okay so I go to browse so I had already created a test demo folder so I'll create a new one within that so I create a new one and I say test 2 and I create that folder so now that folder has been created and I say choose once I have done that um, do I wish to have subfolders if I wish to I can check it give it a name and then go ahead with that or if I don't it doesn't really matter it's a choice that you make what about naming conflict because it's possible that you may have very similar names so you can say hey overwrite existing files or skip the file or create a unique file name so bridge is smart enough to create a unique file name now what image format do you want so let's click in here so there's a bunch there's JPEG PNG TIFF and DNG um, any more no and I want to send them out as JPEGs what image quality let's say I want a quality of seven medium quality scale images I really don't want to scale it remember I had said 1280 pixels web ready on the long dimension is what I'm going to do so I'll say resize to fit uh, long edge short edge width and height it's up to you I like to choose one because proportionately Adobe bridge will resize the other dimension as well and what's the dimension 1280 pixels so that done let's see what else is here resolution definitely not 300 because I'm posting it online so you can choose a resolution which suits an online environment generally speaking it's at about 72 pixels per inch I don't wish to enlarge it and finally um, we're not interested in any resample method if you uncheck this doesn't come about so I'm not resampling anything and the last thing which is very important is do we wish to include the original metadata all of it or you wish to remove location or do you wish to apply a particular metadata template and if you do you can create a new metadata template specifically for that particular purpose 
check this and then go to the drop down menu and choose that particular metadata template and that will be applied to the set of images that you're exporting okay so i leave it to it and i don't wish to apply a new metadata template because i already may have keywords and if i don't have keywords then i'll say okay let's do this and i'll say test whatever it may be and if you wish and if you think you may need additional keywords you can definitely add more keywords over here and then hit save once you hit save nothing has happened as yet other than the fact that a new export module has been created okay so you can click on it and nothing will happen what i wish to do is the following so i'll go back into my directory where I had the original images and I'll filter it out and I'll just choose the JPEGs. Let's say there's a bunch of images that I worked on, but for the sake of convenience, I'll just pick a few. Okay. So I'll start from this and I'll end over here and then go to my export. And you notice this over here, you simply come selected all the images, drag them on top of the new module that you have created and let it be. So it says one job with 24 files in it. Nothing is happening as yet until you hit the start export mod button over here. Now you still have the ability to re-edit that module, the export module. Simply click on the edit and you can say, hey, you know something? I should really add some keywords in here, whatever they may be. So I can say, fall and separate by uh, semicolon so I'll separate that and leaves and I'm sorry I use the colon as opposed to the semicolon um, what else could I say colors of fall whatever it may be now that I have done this I hit the save again and it has updated that particular preset and once I'm done I simply hit on the start export as soon as you hit on the start export you will see a progress window which shows you exactly how many images are being processed at a given point in time and the rate at which they are being processed okay once it's done let's close it okay now remember something we had put that on my desktop okay and where had I put it in my test demo and I had named the folder test 2 so if I click on test 2 here are all the images that I had chosen to export as a particular JPEG at a particular size and if you click on any one of them it will have that dimension the 1280 and the longer dimension okay and at the same time you want to check on the keywords so whatever the assigned keywords were those keywords have arrived right here so I had remember I'd put in autumn and I had put in something else as well walk in the woods whatever it was those keywords will show up here you still have the ability of adding and associating more keywords if you so wish so I'll come in select one and do command a or control a to select all the images I wish to associate my name in here and beautiful and background this has been additionally associated to these images and that is about it so hopefully you have a better understanding of what collections and smart collections are and at the same time how to create an export module to create efficiencies in your workflows as opposed to working on one image at a time you're simply working on multiples and exporting them out i shall see you soon in another video until then you look after yourself and take care